This uh, video is an addendum to my earlier uh, Egypt uh, dive trip briefing for 2022. In that video, I admitted a couple of things um, that I'd like to um, uh, provide additional detail about uh, in this video. So the first thing I didn't talk very much about uh, were the technical dives and the training that's going to go on. Uh, I just mentioned that we'd be doing both recreational and technical diving. And so I'm going to talk a little bit more about the technical diving uh, in, this, um, in this slide. So the technical dives and training are logistically similar to the recreational dives uh, with respect to the setup and also the transportation in the event that um, it's a remote site. Uh, so I won't go over that again. Uh, I will talk uh, a little bit about the on-site training that we're going to do, which again is across from the hotel. So the first two or three days, uh, we're going to dive um, right there across from the hotel. And uh, we're going to have an individual with us who is going to provide surface support, uh, particularly for deco tanks. So once we get into the water, uh, our surface support guy will come down and bring the deco tanks down to us uh, so we don't have to walk down into the water with as many tanks. At this particular place uh, across from the hotel, uh, I've uh, gone down to about 165 feet. Uh, this site, you can go deeper than that, but um, I stopped at 165 feet. And uh, at 165 feet, there is um, sort of a very absurd uh, thing there. And uh, that is a formal place setting on a table, including silverware, uh, plates, and glasses. And so I think uh, in this particular location, there's very little current. Uh, I don't know how long that place setting has been down there. Hopefully it'll still be there when we go uh, when we go this year. But it is just kind of funny to see a, a place setting, a formal place setting down there at 165 feet. All right. So uh, we will be spending two or three days um, doing uh, dives right across from the hotel, uh, primarily to um, do uh, some logistical debugging and so on equipment debugging all right so then um, after that uh, we're going to then go uh, to uh, some remote sites and again we're going to have a person providing surface support for the deco tanks um, a difference between uh, the technical dives and the recreational dives are uh, since the pace is slower we're very likely to have lunch on the site so the first site, the first remote site we're going to be going to is a place called Canyon. And um, there are probably many um, uh, videos on the Canyon uh, on YouTube. And in fact, um, I believe there's one on our channel about a dive to uh, the Canyon. And we're going to enter, uh, this is the Canyon here. We're going to enter the Canyon at about 60 feet and go down in the Canyon uh, to the exit, which is about 175 feet. And so uh, this is a very interesting dive. I believe the um, the way uh, the story is told is that the canyon was um, something that developed uh, as a result of um, an earthquake. So uh, it's a very interesting dive. Uh, then uh, we are, of course, going to be doing uh, the Blue Hole, in particular the Blue Hole Arch, uh, the uh, site which is known as the Diver's Graveyard, and uh, there was a guy called uh, Monty Hall who made a video which many people have seen uh, that talks about the uh, uh, the Blue Hole and why it's known as the Diver's Graveyard. And so um, with the tide, if we have a favorable um, uh, uh, tide time, slack tide, uh, we're going to do a transit. So we're going to enter inside the blue hole. We're going to swim through uh, underneath the arch, transit the arch, come out the outside of the blue hole, uh, and then um, eventually turn around and go back into the blue hole and then do our decompression stops inside the blue hole. So the first time we do this, uh, we're going to be doing um, a dive toward the ceiling. Uh, I sometimes call this the haircut version. And so we're going to be swimming within a few feet of the top of the arch. So we're going to be going through. Here's a picture of us doing it last year. Uh, and then uh, we're going to come back out. Uh, if the tide is not favorable, this did happen to us, um, has happened to us once. Uh, we could not swim back without burning a lot of gas. So we just decided that we would go outside the uh, blue hole and uh, do our decompression stops on the outside. And then there's a thing called the saddle, which is a 20 foot cut uh, in the other side of the blue hole. And we swam back into the blue hole uh, over the uh, over the saddle. 
Uh, another dive we're going to be doing, if uh, things go well, uh, is going to be a, a second transit. This one's going to be a midwater transit, and um, it's going to be around 250 feet. Uh, dive uh, eight for the full trimix, the hypoxic trimix uh, course requires a minimum depth of 245 feet uh, for the um, last dive. And so we're going to be doing, um, likely be doing one uh, midwater at around 250 feet. Um, if we have time and things are still going well, uh, we'll do possibly another dive, uh, which is going to the bottom of the blue hole, 300 feet or so. And um, for this dive, we will have underwater support. And typically there's an underwater support guy with extra gas uh, in the event you need that uh, at about 60 feet. And so um, we'll have both surface support and underwater support if we do a dive, um, if we do a dive and doing a dive that deep. All right. So this uh, is some of the um, technical dive training thing. Uh, we are going to be doing these dives in a very relaxed manner. Uh, we will not be rushing. It will be hot out and we're going to be taking our time uh, to do the dives. So um, it's uh, going to be very, um, very uh, nice, slow, relaxed pace. The other thing I didn't really talk about were was the um, the dive sites in Dahab, uh, and this is a um, a map that it came from the dive Bedouin divers website, um, and so we're going to use uh, their map here uh, to talk about this a little bit. So we're staying in the area that's right next to Bannerfish Bay, and to the north of um, there is a thing called the Lighthouse Reef, and to the south is a thing called, I don't know how to pronounce this, Mashraba. Uh, and um, there's also a very interesting coral formation in the middle of nowhere uh, down there uh, that's a little bit of a swim. So we'll be spending um, the first couple of days, maybe three days, up in Bannerfish Bay while we get everything um, uh, ironed out. And then... Uh, for the technical dives, uh, we're going to be going to the canyon, which is up here. Uh, we're going to be doing a, probably one dive there, and then we're going to be going to the blue hole, which is a little bit further up to do um, to do uh, the other dive. So this total distance is about six miles, so it's not very far. It takes maybe 15 minutes to get up there. Um, the recreational divers will also do dives in this area, too. Um, they'll also probably go to the Eel Garden, maybe to the islands down here, possibly Napoleon Reef down here. And um, they'll also do uh, the canyon, although they won't go down into the canyon, uh, down to the deep exit. They'll stay up toward the top. And then um, there's also a dive here called Ells Bells. I just call it Bells. And what happens is you go to the blue hole, and then you have to mark your tank up uh, this hill past the um, commemorative um, uh, cemetery markers up there uh, to uh, the Ells Bells or the Bells entry. So um, one thing that we found out last year was that um, if you're having lunch somewhere, uh, you can ask the guy who's helping you um, eat uh, if they will have, uh, if they have anybody that's willing to take your tanks up there. And so the typical charge to take tanks up there is about 30 uh, Egyptian pounds, which is maybe uh, just a couple of dollars, a maximum of three dollars. And um, so um, uh, that is well worth it rather than uh, carrying your tank the 200 or 300 yards up to Ells Bells up the hill. So um, uh, if we do an Ells Bells dive, uh, a recreational dive, I'm sure I'm going to I'm going to be having uh, my tank carried up there. OK, so um, these are some of the sites um, that um, we can uh, anticipate uh, uh, diving at uh, during the shore diving week um, at the hob.